Hello, this is uh, Jane Potter, uh, the Eggman, or Lomar Potter, the uh, Eggman from YouTube.com. And tonight is a uh, video or uh, comment request from uh, an artist I deal with on uh, DeviantArt.com. Love the Joker. Uh, she very cool. And she did me a photo request. I thank her a whole lot for doing that. And, um, she kind of wanted me to do a uh, guess um, movie review on the movie The, uh, the Bird of Grimm. It was a 2005 fantasy comedy film directed by Terry Graham. Uh, film stars Matt Damon and Heath Ledger. And uh, he's the same guy who did Broke Back Mountain and also just released about two years ago. Uh, he did uh, Batman The Dark Knight and he played the Joker. And um, the Bird of Grimm. Um, I think were written by two Germans, uh, Jacob Grimm, who was born uh, January 4, 1785, and died uh, September the 20th, 1863. And Wilhelm Grimm, um, who was born uh, 24th of September of 1786, and died uh, the, December, uh, December the 16th, 1859. Were uh, and they were both uh, German academic best known for publishing uh, pu uh, publishing a collection of fairy tales and folk tales. And they are uh, these uh, stories. Uh, they are among the most best known storytellers of European folk tales. And they were popularized such uh, stories as Cinderella, the uh, the Frog Prince. Hansa and Greta, uh, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, and Snow White. So um, I think they kind of did a remake of it, and I made it even better. And um, uh, from what I've seen uh, in the preview, I even watched some clip off of YouTube. It appeared to be a pretty good movie. Um, I was going to go see it in 2005, but unfortunately, uh, something came up. So um, I, I love the, uh, the preview. I've seen some clips on YouTube and pretty good. Um, I love the Heath Ledger accent. And unfortunately, he died of, a, I think, if I'm not mistaken, of an overdose. Um, back in 2008, yeah, he was born uh, April the 4th, 1979. And he died uh, January the 22nd, 2008. Uh, unfortunately, he died in New York at the age of 28. Uh, he was married with uh, Michelle Williams uh, for about from 2005 to 2007. His acting career was from 1992 to 2008. And he had, he had one daughter. Um, I feel pretty bad about it because I, I I never really got into her. And here's some of the films she done over the years, starting back in 1992, Clan Around, uh, 97, Pause, 99, 10 Things I Hate About You, the year 2000, The Monster Ball, and 2001, The Night Tale, I mean, A Night Tale. I think that the one kind of got him on top, kind of got everything got started. Then he did uh, one back in 2003, 2004, uh, The Brother Grimm. So uh, I guess he made in 2003, but then released into 2005, to my understanding. Uh, in 2005, he did The Brother Mountain thingy. Now that was something. I didn't watch it, but okay. In 2008, he was the Joker. Uh, some people say uh, he was better than Jack Nicholson back in 1989. I was kind of so so. And to my surprise, the imaginary Tory adopted Permission with 2009, but 
This movie had to be released after his death. They died in 2008. So, so that's how I understand this. So yeah, he died in 2008. So he must be making that movie and didn't release until um, 2009. Um, that was under his films. And he always appeared in four videos right here. Uh, Cause and Effects. And seductive and evil. Shown by Napa. I mean, was directed by Ledger. Okay. Um, Morning Yawning by Ben Harper. Uh, directed by um, Ledger himself. Black Eyed Dog. Shown written by Nick Drake. Uh, video and featuring Ledger. Okay, uh, and King Rat, shown by Modish, uh, Modish Mouse, and convicted by Leisure. Okay, okay, so he did a little of music video directing. Um, let's see, TV, TV. 1993, uh, Ship to Shore, Cyclist. 1996, Red, um, Snowboarding or Series Regular, Home and Away, Scott, Iron Guest. And wore a current leading role. So, um, mostly um, his achievement was in a film. And uh, first thing he died, uh, to my understanding, I, I still looking to that. And he was born he was from Pure Western Australia. And uh, his death was due to. Um, let me see, he therefore was due to, uh, he was found unconscious in bed by his housekeeper. So I still couldn't find what he said he died from, but I think it was overdose to my understanding. Um, yeah. So, um, that's very important. A great act to die before time. Really, I'm really sorry to hear that. And it appeared to say uh, uh, he fledged that as a cute intoxic intoxication. Uh, oh, yeah, I cannot pronounce over half this, but I think he overdosed. I don't know if he did on purpose or wherever it could have been. So, um,. A uh, great actor, but unfortunately had a, a sad ending. So, uh, thanks to people like Love the Joker, uh, he would never be forgotten. And, um, she a very, very big Joker fan. Uh, you know, um, I think she kind of moved to the Heath Ledger type in the uh, Jack Nicholson 1989 uh, with. Um, Mike, uh, Mike Keating, um, uh, you know, they're both good, but I think this one was more darker, more realistic, and the one back in 89 was more comic book like and more, well, he, he was kind of scary, but more in a comical way. Um, they both were great. I think he was the uh, kind of like uh, defeated Zach Nicholson. Uh, uh, like man at the apartment of the um, of the way how the show could be acting sometimes, but yeah, um, yeah, he bless was a great actor, but he just overdosed and um, many condolences to his family and kids. Um, anybody want to leave a video response comment? Please tell me uh, uh, anything you want to talk about. Just leave a video response or comment. Yeah, thank you. I love the Joker for the picture, and uh, you is a great artist. Thanks for your, your photographer, your dad, or wherever. And um, thanks for everything. Yeah, I'll get back with you later.